everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So today's video is going to be a little updated makeup routine and just a life update. So I just thought this would be interesting to film because I haven't done a makeup routine in about three months now since I started my channel. And I thought it would be interesting just to show you some tips and tricks that I've been learning over time where I've been doing more and more makeup. I just wanted to sort of switch up from my latest videos where I've been doing like little challenges, little vlogs. So I just thought I'd sit down and do a little updated life update with you so you all knew how I'm getting on and I don't know if you care but <laughs> yeah obviously I'm doing this video for you guys to get to know me a little bit better and just what I'm doing my day to day life obviously without doing a day in the life vlog but if you'd like to see that then comment down below. And with all that said and done let's get into the video. Right guys so we're going to start by pinning the hair back because I don't know about you when I'm doing my makeup the last thing I want is my hair in my face like just scalp. So I think what I'm going to do is I normally would pin both sides back but you know, you want to look a bit bougie for the camera, so we're just going to pretend that it's comfortable. Well, it looks alright, didn't it? Okay, now that's out of the way, I'm just going to start by using this, you've probably seen it in the last one, but the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid, I think this is really good. Um, I do use this as an everyday thing, well, I used to use concealer all over the face, but I've kind of gone off that now because I really like this foundation. And whilst I'm doing that, I would like to update you guys about what I've been doing this weekend. So today is, what day is it today? Um, okay, so it's Wednesday today, I've just found out by looking at the calendar. Um, by the way, this is the way I like to do my foundation, just because I think it gets an even base. I don't really like putting it straight on the beauty blender and then blending it. I'm not really sure why, I just really, this is my own technique, to be honest. Um, just find it more comfortable. So, yeah, over the weekend, sorry, just to interrupt you, interrupt you, just to interrupt quickly. Um, this is quite a light coverage. I know it looks quite um, cakey, but... Actually, no, I would say it's medium coverage. It's not too much. Like, you'd have to reapply if you wanted a bit more, which is what I do. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, over the weekend, it was my sister's birthday. And we did actually a couple of things. We went to Cambridge, which is really nice. Um, we haven't been to Cambridge since, literally since lockdown, like, started. We haven't been for ages. Me and my family, we normally go. Um, so, yeah, that was really nice. But then we had a bit of a dilemma in Costa. Like... So I don't know whether you, you've, any of you have been to like a coffee shop lately, obviously now that everything's been reopened. Obviously this looks like a lot, you can just blend it down your neck, which obviously I would like to do because of the colour. Um, anyway, so yeah, we went into Costa and it, this Costa in Cambridge is quite a small one, so it's inside like a shopping centre. Basically what happened was, um, firstly we was a family of four obviously, so me, my mum, my dad, my sister, sorry, yeah, me, my mum, my dad, my sister, that sounds weird. Anyway, um... So yeah, it was family of four, and um, so you know, obviously you can't go in all four of you. So there were like only one person. So we were like, how are we meant to order four? Like we could just do two and two, but it was just a bit awkward. Um, just turned into a story time. Anyway, long story short, it was a very big dilemma because my mum had to take my dad's card, and just it was just all a bit of a palaver. Like we were, at the end of the day, I was just standing there. Like mum was like, what do you want? I was like, do you know what? Just leave it. Like. I starving my head off i was like do you know what just leave it i don't want anything it's fine do you know what i mean like i can't you can't even be bothered with that so yeah that happened and it was all just a bit crazy but we we managed to get something from there anyway um i'm just going over the patches where i think need to be covered like right by my nose there's just some extra bits where i need to cover this um foundation was actually my mum's because as i said i don't actually i didn't use foundation as like my everyday makeup just because i thought it was a little bit heavy i just went off it um, but she let me borrow it one day and I was like, I actually really like it. And I don't know why, it's just very, well, it obviously says hydrating. So it's like very lightweight. It makes your skin look very dewy. It's not cakey at all. And it's really like easy, easy to apply. Does that make sense? So like some foundations, uh, sorry. So yeah, guys, now the foundation is done. I'm just going in with this again, Last Imperfection from uh, Collection. And what I do is I like to just dab it underneath my eye, not too far underneath because I find that my under eye creasing is really bad at the moment. So I just don't like to put it too close. Um, but yeah, this is just really good for like spots and stuff. And because obviously it's lighter on my face, just makes it a whole lot, um, my face like appear more flawless. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, so I've actually been eating quite badly um, this weekend slash week. Um, I had my first sh shift back at work on Friday. Um, and it actually wasn't too bad. I was so nervous. Like, I literally spent a week worrying about what it's going to be like. 
I was just worried to see everyone again, whether everyone's gonna, do you know what I mean? Like, obviously I started a YouTube channel, so I was, I was thinking like, I don't know whether anyone's gonna be like the same with me. I don't know, it's just my overthinking self. Yeah, I really enjoyed work on Friday. I went Friday and Saturday. Obviously my contract is like eight hours. So it's not too much, which is good. So I can like manage my other things in life. Like, I don't know. Well, I have time to myself, don't I? Because obviously I'm not at school or anything. But obviously that changes in September. So I know I said my makeup routine's changed, but I'm always going to use this eyeshadow for my brows. I just find it so easy and it just, you can just blend it how you want to. For example, like if it goes wrong, you can like shape it into place, if that makes sense. Actually, before we start, I'm just going to use my spoolie to go over because there's product in the brow. So we just like to, you know, do that. Um, the reason I would wanted to do this video is because I have got some like updated tips and tricks I would like to show you. Um, just because, I don't know, I've just found it easier and by doing these videos I'm finding myself using different products, which is not normally like me. I'm always sticking to like one product. Um, so yeah, it's nice to just have a little explore. Sunday went to Cambridge, obviously, popped into Zara actually, and I didn't actually end up buying anything. There wasn't anything that like caught my eye and I don't know whether that's because I've just done, recently done a haul. And like maybe I've just like seen everything. I was gonna pick up another one of those Zara basic um, vest sort of things, but my sister has one in nude, uh, and we share basically because the size small fits me and her both. Um, so yeah, we just like to share those. So we just thought like there's no point in getting another one, even though like obviously if they go a little bit like bobbly or something in the wash, obviously then it's good to buy a new one. But so yeah, I didn't end up getting anything from Zara, but it was nice to have a look and stuff. Um, Anyone who hasn't been to the shops yet, it actually isn't as bad as you think. Like, I thought sitting down in a restaurant would be bad, but I've actually been to a Turkish for my sister's birthday, which was on Monday, um, and it wasn't bad at all. They did actually check our temperature and stuff, so they were checking if we were safe to go in, which makes me feel a lot better, because obviously, you know, anyone around you could have it, um, but you don't know, so it's nice that, like, they made sure that everyone's, like, fine and stuff. You weren't pressured to wear a mask or anything, which obviously now is compulsory in the UK from the 24th, um, which I don't know how to feel about, feel about, sorry. I just feel like, personally, it should have been done sooner if that was a thing. Like, why is it coming about now? I just feel like like what is he doing good old boris what is he doing i'm sorry so really sorry about the lead in the uh videos because it was just hanging about my phone is actually charging yeah i filmed my phone so that is another thing to talk about i really want to invest in some camera equipment um i'm, I'm actually into photography i did a photography a level um, just really quick disclaimer, I have to have my eyebrows in line with each other, otherwise I will get OCD like seriously, so I have to just make sure they're in line and they are, so it's all good. So some days I'll spend forever doing my eyebrows because they have to be in line. Anyway, back onto the subject. Yeah, I want to invest in some nice camera equipment. I'm not sure what to get, like there's a number of things, like I know people film on the G7X all the time, I'm just going to go in with this again, you know, it's my everyday basic, um, I did use the Chanel one, but I just felt like it wasn't dark enough for me, because I like to pack it on, anyway, so yeah, I find it quite hard to obviously film, because I have to film at like midday slash two o'clock, one o'clock, um, in the daytime, because the lighting is the best, obviously I can't film like in the evening time, because I don't have like a tripod or a light or anything which is very silly because i was actually a photography student as i've mentioned um by the way i have got fake tan on but i like to just blend it down my neck because the fake tan is going to be a different color to the bronzer so yeah that's what i like to do just make sure to blend it all in. so my sister's friend was around this weekend and um every time i did my makeup she was like your forehead looks like a sunset now i don't get offended by stuff like that because she is like one of the closest people to me like i know she's my sister's friend but she's also mine like she's literally my bestie i love her um but yeah like i've been trying to blend it a little bit more down i don't want it to be too much of a do you know what i mean like a gradient so yeah obviously just blend it in with this brush and literally just going straight in again with that foundation it's so easy to blend things on top which obviously with my concealer, it was a bit more difficult because it was concealer, like you're not meant to blend too much, do you know what I mean? Concealer's meant for under the eyes, on the forehead, not just everywhere. So yeah, that was, that's good benefit. But obviously from her passing comment, I now use two brushes to do my bronzer. This one's to like blend in and just sort of like make everything a bit softer. And this one is actually a powder brush. However, I just dip it straight into my hula and go across the parts of my faces where are a little bit pale. 
like i like to make everything a little bit the same color like not too much like oh god that's a bit ah! it's gone straight in my eye anyway you get the gist you know just blend it out so obviously now i've just buffed that all out with that brush i'm just going to go again in with the um bronzer and you might think like, oh it's a bit much but in real life it actually looks a bit more dull than in on the camera obviously i like to create that sharp line i will show you what i do in a minute obviously i've changed my stuff up um so yeah next life update i've just been eating so much lately i need to calm down like i had dominoes for lunch and like that's fine but i've been having pizza every day this week so this is my next product it's the nyx born to glow you probably have seen it in my latest youtube makeup videos obviously this is the youtube channel nads um yeah this is actually something that i've just recently started using i had it in my cupboard for ages like when i was like 16 17 i used to buy so much makeup and like do loads of exploring but now i've just like i'm more into my fashion and i would rather spend money on clothes than makeup which is quite bad because you know every girl needs a bit of makeup yeah i really like this because again it, it's like it's obviously a highlighter but it blends it into my bronzer so it doesn't look as bad and also where my face is very pale in the center where i don't put too much bronzer it's nice that it just blends it in and creates a sort of blush so it's very nice as you can see there it's gone a little bit like rosy which is quite nice um it looks quite cute and girly you know not just too much bronzer which i normally have obviously people may want to skip this part if you are copying me but i like to put a little bit more highlight and this is just the powder one yeah i have no end to this brush I'm just a bloody mess like i need some new makeup brushes i just don't know where they're best to get them from i just um recently bought my sister for her birthday some morphe brushes some eye brushes that is too much so beauty blender and blend it in it does the magic i'm telling you um yeah i'm using this purple one but yeah um yeah i need some new makeup brushes just in every department bronzer i just need some new ones i've had this for ages um so yeah i've been actually really excited to show you all this little trick which you've probably seen about a thousand times and you probably know about it i just literally it has changed my life with the contour situation so i'm using this nyx finishing powder now i had this in my drawer for ages like when i used to buy makeup and i just didn't use it and i found this cool trick which again you know about so you should use this side of the beauty blender tap it into this powder which acts as like a um you know like a loose powder well it just says finishing powder so what i do is grab like that and then literally do it like that So it acts as like a little, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I forgot to powder my face. Right, obviously you would powder your face before you do all of this, but I'm just gonna go over um, all of my stuff because I've just forgotten. Um, especially under the eyes for me, as I said, it creases quite badly. And I don't know whether it's because I need to moisturize more. Um, so yeah, I also like to put it here. I literally cover it in my face in powder when I've just put bronzer on. However, you can just go over it, as I said. So because that powder is called finishing powder, I do use it as like a setting powder sort of thing. So you just like set all your makeup with it. Um, then one, once it's been on there for like 30 seconds or so, however long you want it to be on there, I just grab this brush again, which is obviously the bronzer brush that I've just used. Um, that does not look connected. See, this, if you just go over it, it literally just conceals everything. So good. I absolutely love this brush. Don't know where it's from. Oh, Technic. 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 Okay, so that's that with the base makeup, so really quite easy um, and really nice and just leaves on all day, so it just stays on all day, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is the Dior Mascara, I find it really nice. The wand is actually really, not something that I would normally use because I like to thicken my lashes and lengthen them and this is quite thin, which I didn't think I'd like, however, if you just top a few on and put a few coats on it actually does the trick i don't really use eyelash curlers anymore because i think it works as a straightener and i don't really fancy ruining my lashes so yeah i don't tend to use that anymore and my lashes are normally quite curly so i just like to leave them a bit natural which is nice um i would like to invest in some eyelash extensions very soon but I've been having a little think about it and I thought, I don't really want to spend my money if I won't like them. Like, I need to be 100% sure, which obviously other girls convince me because they are actually unreal. Um, but I just don't know what to do. Also, another tip with my eye, uh, with my mascara, what you do is to make them longer. I remember some girls showed me this in secondary school. I literally have used it ever since. So what you do is, 
I don't know if any of you know about that, but I didn't. Like, you just literally put your mascara here and then blink, and it literally just lengthens it. It's just so good. I literally feel like it's about to rain outside. Um, I hate this weather because it's like 20 degrees and it's warm, and you don't know what to wear. Like, I've been wearing shorts around the house, and then when I go out, it's like too cold for shorts, but then it's not too cold for shorts. Like, I just don't know what to wear lately. I just hate this weather. I wish it was either hot or cold. Like, can't deal with the bipolarness. But also, another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, when I was at work the other day, a customer came up to me. Because obviously I was on the till. Like, I'm quite um, known to be on the tills. <laughs> um, a customer came up to me the other day and was like... He didn't say it in a rude way. He just said, like, you know how lucky you are to have a job. And I was like, yeah, I realise. And, like, that made me put everything into perspective. And it just made me think, like when i was worried about having going back to work and stuff i was thinking like i shouldn't be worried i should be really happy because obviously some people are really struggling for jobs at the moment um but i think have you all know um there obviously will be opportunities very soon where things start to reopen fully and the virus ends up like completely dead and um, obviously there will be chances to get a job again so anyone that who is struggling without one at the moment don't panic like everything comes in it's good on its own time yeah the only thing left to do now is lips so again she's using this lip liner from it's called a star a star <laughs> my voice went so weird a star it's from italy again um the best lip liners from italy me and my sister know about it i don't know why it's just the italian makeup italian clothes italian food just before we go into the lips, just another thing I thought I'd mention that I used to use. Well, I still use, sorry. Um, I used to use this mascara. It's from Kiko and it's called False Lashes Concentrate. And it's just a lengthening top coat mascara. So you put it on top of your original like mascara everyday one. Um, this is an empty one, so there's nothing left on the product. I just like to go over my mascara because I don't like clumpiness. Obviously, I don't think anyone does. Um, and obviously, I used to use, like, scissors. And I used to split the scissors in half and, like, go through my eyelashes with the scissors. So dangerous. So now I just use this empty, clean wand just to go through my lashes. And it really does help. Also, I've just got into lip liner. Like, my sister always used it. And she's literally just turned 16. So I was thinking, why am I not using it? Um, and ever since... Sorry. Ever since I started using it, I love it. Like, I just think it makes such a difference to your face. Um, I just think it obviously makes your face look a bit more like defined and outlined. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you what one this is, but um, it's in a colour like this. It looks more of like a brownish sort of thing. I quite like that because it matches my lip colour. And then my two other things that I put on top of my lips is just the Chanel Everyday one. And then this pumping gloss, which I again have recently started using because my friend bought it for me for my 18th so i love her um but i just thought i'd mention this because i was using my dior just a normal gloss but this is really really good as you can see without even adding anything else you can already see that this plain oh my gosh sorry about that um yeah as i was saying you can actually see that the lip liner has made so much of a difference to my lips like you can literally fill in your lips with lip liner but obviously i like to just go over this is more of a pinkish uh and it's really nice on my lips. It feels really buttery and just generally really nice. So also, now that is applied, as you can see, it's very matte, which I don't personally like a matte lip just because my lips get very dry. So again, I said, I'm going to go in with the plumper. I like this um, applicator. It's different from the gloss that I use. I find this one actually easier to use and the bristles don't get ruined. So if you are looking for a Dior lip gloss, I would personally go for this applicator. I think it's only on the plumper. The plumper also smells amazing. Another <laughs> thing I wanted to mention whilst we are on this life update sort of thing. I just wanted to know what you guys wanted to see out of my YouTube channel. Just because I am getting a little bit stuck. Um, I'm getting a bit unmotivated just because I don't know what to film. And I like sitting down and filming videos for you because I feel like I can just talk. But obviously I'd like to do like activities like drive with me's and stuff. I have just bought a car like you know when you stick it on the window and you can video yourself. So I've just bought one of those ready for a drive with me so if you would like to see that then please comment down below so yes guys unfortunately that is it for today i hope you are enjoying my content at the moment today's video was not like a quick thought one it was just something that i had thought of myself again because i wanted to show you some tips and tricks that i've obviously have been using in my everyday makeup routine which i personally would love to watch hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a like comment and subscribe to my channel and i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye guys <laughs>